The multi-church Good Friday service is an annual gathering of local church congregations to celebrate and remember the great sacrifice of love in Jesus' crucifixion and death. It's uh, really been a privilege for us here at Calvary to host the uh, multi-church Good Friday service for the last five or six years. I'm a huge fan of multi-church functions, period, but, but I especially love the multi-church Good Friday service. I just love, I've always loved the idea of the church, the big picture church. And I feel like this Good Friday service is just a great opportunity for us to do that, for Christian pastors, church leaders, and Christians alike to maybe get the blinders off a bit and see the bigger picture of the church, the whole church. It's just a phenomenal opportunity to come together as believers. We're in our own worlds most of the year at our own churches, and this time we get to come together as one larger community church and celebrate Christ's death on the cross, the price that was paid for us so that we can have salvation. And it's a chance for us to get to know other people. It's a chance for us to get to spend time with people that we don't normally get to spend time with. And it's a chance for church staffs to get to work together that they don't normally get to work together. But it's a chance for you as a congregation member to get to see the larger community church. It's been a huge opportunity for us to get to know some other pastors, work with other churches, uh, really enjoy that coming together. I think there's a lot of time that we spend in our own worlds doing our own things and this gives us a chance to break out of that. And I think that the thing that excites me most about the fact that we have the different uh, local churches coming together for this service is there's, it, it unites us in the, the centrality of, of the cross. And, and that's something that regardless of the way in which maybe the individual churches do things a little bit differently, organize themselves a little bit differently, have different methodologies, the fact that we're all saved through that shed blood of that one Savior Jesus is something that makes, I think, for an incredibly powerful time uh, of gathering together uh, as the diverse body of Christ. And when you come together, I mean, scriptures would tell you it's blessed when brothers come together in unity. And you can experience this. It's like, man, you, you can really see that people do things differently. And rather than just criticize and critique like we're being taught in, in culture today, no, we can appreciate each other, right? The eye cannot say to the hand or the foot, I have no need of thee, right? So if you're sitting there and you're going, I don't know, maybe I should go, I don't know, maybe I should, I, I just want to say, we have need of thee. You need to come, you need, uh, the, if you're the eye, um, then you have need of us. And if you're the foot, well, we have need of you. And so we all have need of each other. And when we come together to celebrate uh, what Christ did for us, powerful things happen. You need to get here. I think it's important for our kids to come to a service like this and see that there's a bigger, greater Christian influence, people that they might not realize that they go to school with, uh, that will be at a service like this. Um, the aspects of the service are phenomenal in that you have uh, all the different worship leaders from the different churches coming together and, and sharing their gifts and abilities to remind us of what is most important, what brings us together. So many times in the church world, we look at what's different about each other, uh, the differences between our churches, and we, we concentrate on those instead of what brings us together. What ultimately brings us together on Good Friday is the death and then ultimately the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So I would strongly encourage you to be part of this combined Good Friday service where you can see other brothers and sisters and even participate with them in perhaps a little bit different way of worship or different style of worship than what you may be accustomed to, or maybe it may be familiar. But the point is that we all share our heart of love for Jesus and we respect one another, acknowledge one another as our brothers and sisters in Christ. To all the believers in the Plymouth Canton area, I would invite you, pastors, uh, to involve your congregations in uh, this Good Friday service, April 14th, 2017. It will be a, a huge blessing to you and to your congregation. So if you happen to be a leader at your local church, you're one of the decision makers, maybe the lead pastor or one of the elders, I just really would appeal to you to give some thoughtful and prayerful consideration to joining this multi-church community Good Friday service. Um, take a risk, try it for one year. I, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think you'll find it to be something uh, that will bless uh, the people who are part of your church. I think you will be blessed individually by it, and I think that it would 
possibly be something that you would find yourself wanting to do on an annual basis as we gather together to remember the sacrifice of Christ for all of us.